Watch this fascinating video of traditional yarn making. Hundreds of years old spinning skills brought to life in our modern world. Spinning begins by holding the hand carded fiber, which is in this case blended angora, merino wool, and silk fibers in one hand, holding the leader line in the other, and spinning the wheel with foot power. The wheel adds twist to the leader line and the roll egg fibers grip and twist securely on the line. As the single of yarn is spun, it travels from the spinner's hands through the orifice and it winds onto the bobbin. In this case, with this particular wheel, the Ashford Elizabeth II, the spinner must stop at regular intervals and move the single of yarn from one hook to the other to make sure it loads properly onto the bobbin. Spinning simply continues on in this repetitive process over and over. If a spinner stops spinning and wants to continue spinning later on, they simply return to their wheel, pick up the fiber, the row leg, start the spinning wheel, begin trailing with their foot, and the spinning continues on. Slowly, the bobbin begins to get filled with the single of spun yarn. The entire time the spinner is choosing how thick or how thin to spin the yarn, and the experience over time often dictates the spinner's skill level. Spinning is something that can be picked up quite easily, but mastering the art of spinning a yarn at the thickness and the consistency is something that takes time. Occasionally, spinners are going to take breaks and have a snack like this celery. And perhaps, also, you'll notice that when they're spinning, the fiber itself, some of the dye, may get onto the fingertips. In this case, there's some purple that's transferring. If the yarn ever breaks, the spinner simply stops the spinning wheel, takes the spun single of fiber, threads it back through the hooks and orifice, holds it in their hand, takes the roll egg, and because that line is twisting, the wool wants to join on and simply continue spinning. If there's hay in it, take it out. Spinners are always happy when they get to the final row leg, the final piece of wool to spin, because that means they're almost done with the spinning.
spinning is complete, the spinner has earned the time to relax, the wheel is quiet, and the yarn is finished. Thanks for watching.